At the TPF delegates meeting yesterday, it was brought to our attention that some of the images that were um, submitted for the competition were sized incorrectly. And there were some specific sizes that had to be adhered to in order to meet the competition requirements as well as assist in um, preparing the audio visual. One of the image sizes, or the image sizes are basically exactly the same as, as Devonport puts in for its competition, uh, with the exception of the 300 PPI. So what I've done, I've decided to do a bit of an experiment and export the same image, which is the one that's on the screen now. Uh, I'm going to export it three ways as a 1080 by 1080, one at zero PPI, one at 72 PPI and one at 300 PPI. Then I'm going to export it as a 1920 by 1920 and a 2560 by 2560, just to see what effect font size has when preparing a, an audio visual. So the first one we're going to export this one, we will export it and send it to the desktop we're going to call this one 0 PPI, 0 PPI, 1080 by 1080. We'll go down here, we'll limit the file size to 2 megabytes. We'll make the long edge 1080, and we'll set the resolution to 0. Now, we, that we've, we've, now we've, got the, we've got the name, we've got the image size, we've got we're limited to the, the size of the file, and no resolution. In other words, no pixels per inch as, as an export. So we've exported that to the desktop. That's been exported. So our next export will be at 72 PPI. So we've renamed the file. The long edge is that, we're going to change the resolution to 72 PPI and we can export that. That's been exported. What we'll do is the last one in this particular size will be going out at 300, 300 PPI. So the file name's changed. The resolution will now be 300 PPI and we'll export that. Okay, now we are going to change the file size from, we'll make it 72 PPI, 1920, 1920 by 1920. So that's been done. We're going to make the long edge 1920 and the resolution 72. Now we can export that. Lastly, we'll export the same file at 2560 by 2560. 2560 by 2560. And we'll make the long edge 2560 at 72 PPI. So we'll export that. The, all five images have been exported. So what we'll do, we'll minimize Lightroom. Here are our photos that we've just exported in the different sizes. And what we'll do now is open them up in Photoshop and so that we can add a text layer. Okay, I'll select all these and op open. So these will be opened up as individual files in Photoshop. Right, here we have our five files. What I'm going to do, I'll make them all the same size so they fit in on the screen. So we'll Command-0 or Control-0 that. We will grab a text layer and we'll put some text in. We'll set the resolution to, we'll make it, uh, let's make it 22 point, just for 22 tab. Okay, okay, we'll click in here. We'll make it, um, so this is the 72, 72, PPI 2560 by 2560. We'll transform that, we'll command T that and put that in the middle. 
there it is that's in the middle so that one so that we've got that so what I'm going to do I'm just going to copy this to the next image so control C and take it over here and we'll make this fit the screen there it is and we'll paste the text file in and I'll transform it pre transform take it up here and we'll rename this as 1920 by 1920 there you have it so We'll go to the next one, which is the 1080 by 1080. We'll fit that to screen. We'll paste the text and we'll edit the text to 1080, 1080 by 1080. And that's at 72 ppi, which is good. I'll just transform it and I'll move that up to the top so that it can be seen and then we'll go to the next one I'll just I might just yeah I'll go to the next one and make that fit right we fit that to screen I'll paste the the text file the text layer in and I can edit this and make that 108 great 1080 by 1080 and this one says it's at 300 ppi and I'm going to transform that one and no something's going on. I'm going to bang, go here command T I'll move that up to the top in the middle and then lastly we'll go that the one that says 0 ppi I'll put the, put the text file in. We'll modify that to zero PPI and it'll be 1080 by 1080. Done. And I'm going to transform that and I'll just move that up to the middle. Okay. So we can, you can see here. At zero PPI, the fonts are, just just check this is still 22 point font size, right? So that's 22 point font at 1080 by 1080. The font looks quite large. We'll move to 300 PPI, and I'll I'll transform that. I'll command T, and I'll move this up the top as well. The font size is exactly the same size as this one, and it's the same size font. Now we'll move to the 1920 by 1920. The font size is still 22 point, but the font looks a lot smaller because there's a, it's a bigger file. It's a, it's a bigger image at 1920 by 1920. Then we'll go to the 2560 by 2560. And again, the font is still 22 point, but the image size has increased. Okay, so that, that's, that's the Photoshop side of it. Let's have a look at the image sizes. We'll minimize this and we'll have a look at these these file sizes. We'll look at the info on the 2560. Actually, we won't bother about those. We'll have a look at uh, the 1080 by 1080. We'll get the info on that on all of them. Here we go. Okay. We will there's this is the first one. This is the 1080 by 1080 at 0 ppi as you can see the file size is 4,491,000 bytes it's exactly the same on the 72 ppi at 491,000 bytes and exactly the same for the 300 ppi the other two images are larger because of the um, the actual size of the image it being at 1920 by 1920 and 2560 by 2560. So changing the PPI when you're exporting or saving your files makes no difference to the size of the image. What does make, and it makes no difference to the size of the text. The only time the text size changes is if you increase the size of the image and export it at the wrong size. So 
just to be clear, resolution does make a difference when you're printing. My printer likes to have the files printed at 240 ppi or dpi. Some or most, most um, printers like theirs printed at 300 dpi. And that's what you should send out if you're having them printed by a professional printer. So if you think otherwise, please present your findings and I'm quite happy to accept that I'm wrong. That's the end of this um, little video. Thanks for listening.